uh, this is the last part of the deprimant map where we're gonna do the actual deprimant um so we're gonna use this forcep this is my hand position here to hold it and I'm gonna use the scissor in my dominant hand and I'm going to use my thumb and this is my ring finger and I'm supporting it with my middle finger a little bit here and my index finger is on the shaft here to support and I'm gonna do an, an o-ring here um, we can see that this is the a necrotic area my elbows are rested on the table here and I can position myself like So I keep the scissor in the upright position, I cut the flag, and there you go. And I keep the scissor in the upright position, cut with the middle third, and here we go. Okay. So lift the tissue here, put the middle third of the scissor here, and there go the necrotic tissue here. Okay. So I hold it, made a grip. I'm trying not to cut with the tip, and here we go. You can see this is a pretty good size flag and with all necrotic. Just the middle one. See, I'm using, not using the tape, I'm using the middle of the blade for the scissor to cut the flag here. Yeah. I don't want to cut this um, here anymore 
because of very light or area now and I don't want to go deep into the viable tissue this one we can take care of using some other uh, debridement techniques um, but not the sharp one here we will see the more darker area so probably we can here we go So you can look at this now here, um, that's how it looked like before, as you can see here, I dyed two spots, that's how it looked like before, now it looks like better here, and I don't want to do these areas anymore here, because we don't want to cut the viable tissue. So this would conclude our sharp deployment uh, part, thank you.